What are some of the top issues around cloud security that you don't think are being taken seriously enough at the moment? Yeah, I think I think there's a there, there's an interesting problem, which is you know there's this pithy saying that you know well cloud is just you know your stuff running on somebody else's compute, right? And it's like well, and and, and then then you get this you get you get this concept of the shared responsibility model thrown at you. It's like well the cloud provider will handle their part, and then they'll give you kind of controls to handle your part. And, and so, in, in, you know, intrinsically, it feels a lot like, well, that's just like my on-prem stuff where some infrastructure team deals with the infrastructure and I deal with, with things in my environment. The problem is that it is actually quite dissimilar uh, in a number of different ways. Um, if you think about on-prem, infrastructure has been pretty stable for a pretty long period of time. There isn't, there isn't on a, every six months, the entire, technology portfolio doesn't turn over, right? And some and new services get rolled out and new concepts get rolled out. And yet in the cloud, if you think about AWS, if you think about Azure, if you think about GCP, they're kind of going toe to toe with each other, trying to create these new services almost on a daily basis. It's all CI CD, it gets deployed immediately. You don't have you don't have any notion of a stable set of mm. infrastructure that you, where, that you can choose to remain on for like six months or a year. Yeah. And then on top of that, these entire ecosystems are pretty damn complex at this point. Like if you, if you look at identity in the cloud, if you look at what you have to get right in the cloud, if you look at uh, uh, you know, how you do entitlement and other kinds of things and understanding the interconnects under the cloud, we have gone, it took us 15 years of going through kind of Microsoft Windows ecosystems to finally understand all the underpinnings, you know, how does, how do you steal credentials? How do you pivot? How do you do all these mm -hmm. things? Mm -hmm. That understanding just doesn't exist in the cloud. And so you have right. a, a complex, fast moving ecosystem, right? Um, you have attackers who simply have to get, you know, an attack template right once. It's entirely reusable. And when we think about the the Capital One attack last August, that was that oh, was yeah. kind of in the news. It wasn't really an attack on Capital One. It was an attack. It was an AWS templated attack hmm. that affected 100 companies, of which Capital One just happened to be one of those 100 companies, right? And so the notion of once you find a a key, you know, it is applicable to <laughs> its blast radius is pretty yeah. big in terms of oh, yeah. across the customers. And, and given the complexity of systems, complexity is always to the disadvantage of the defender, right? Because you can't get your head wrapped around exactly what all the interplays are, what the attack surfaces are. Yes, yeah, sure. And the, the attacker just has to find, you know, one way to run a gauntlet that will get through even 20% of the customers because of however they've arrayed their defenses. And so I think this is the fundamental problem is, is that, you know, you have very complex systems and we're still in the early stages of trying to deal with coming up with preventive yes. technologies. Like if you think about cloud posture management, security posture management, stuff like that, this is all about like setting your preventive perimeter. Like we're basically in, in the realm of building Maginot lines. Right. And yeah. Um, you know, in, on the on-prem side, we've already shifted over the past five or six years towards detection and response in as an adjunct to prevention. Hmm. And yet we're just, beginning to build the prevention building blocks yeah. in the cloud. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, so no, this is, this is fundamentally, I think, the issue. New episodes of Cyberwork are available every Monday at 1 p.m. Central. And don't forget to claim your free month of InfoSec skills. Sign up using the code CYBERWORK and you'll get unlimited access to hundreds of courses, hands-on labs, certification practice exams, skills assessments, and more. Use code CYBERWORK for InfoSec skills.